this time of victory, Father. Yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, Father, I thank you so much, Lord, that we trust in you, Father, that you never let your people down, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I thank you, Father, for the now season, Father. Mm -hmm. When mm, Yes, Lord, to see a great move of God, there's got to be a great move of faith. There's got to be great. <laughs> there's, there's great warfare. There's great, there's a great move of faith, and there is great reward. So I thank you this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. <laughs> Yes, Lord, as you are guiding your people, Father, into the one of the greatest moves, Father, prior to your arrival, Father, in the name of Jesus, on the body of Christ. I thank you today, Father, for the blessings, Lord. I thank you, Father, for this word that you've put in my heart and my spirit, Father, to speak to your people, Father, for them to see, mm -hmm, for the next batch to see manifestation, for the next batch, Father, to see, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to walk into their destiny, to walk into their promises, to, mm, to find access, Lord, in the areas, Lord, glory to God that they have been believing you for. I thank you for this word, Father. Yes, Lord, I yield this life to you. Have your way, Father. Move by your spirit, Father. Yes, Lord, encourage, touch, Lord. Increase the faith of your people, Father, to go to the places and find the door that you have mm, that you have placed for them to be open, Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. We give you praise, glory, and honor, Father. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Glory to God. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Blessings to you. So this is going to be a quick word. I won't be long at all. As you can see, I'm still in my car. I just got to, just got to work. Um, blessings, blessings. I just got to work. So, uh, uh, you know, I got here a little early so I can have time to release this word, amen, that the Lord put in my heart. Um, seek and knock. Mm. Matthew 7 and 7. Matthew 7 and 7. The Lord said, how many of you know, good morning, everyone. How many of you know that it is your season? Mm. Glory to God. How many of you know, blessings, 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 blessings. How many of you know that it's your season? How many of you know? How many of you believe that it is your season? Good morning, sis. Good morning. Good morning. How many of you know, blessings, Dominique, blessings, uh, Heather, blessings, everyone. How many of you know it's your season? I mean, do you know? You see, because mm, 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 glory to God. <laughs> you see, when you know it's your season, then mm, you mm, then then you can't you can't really uh, uh, mm, you can't really assess the new season by the old season. Amen. If you know it's your season, if you know it's your season, if you know it's your time. Time. You see, and this may not be for everybody because the Lord may not have told everybody that it's your time. And if it's if it's not your time, this is still a good word for you because it's going to help you as you when you, when your time comes to 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 move the way. To, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to to help you move in 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 a time when 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 it becomes your time. So this is still a good word for everybody. But for those of you who know, the Lord put it on my heart this morning. He spoke to me and he said, "Knock and seek." And what he was showing me is is. Mm, and the reason why I left out ask is because the Lord says that you have been asking. You have been asking, but there are some people who have who have a routine, who have, wow, who have a routine and they have been unwilling to go outside of their routine. And so they've been sitting there asking, but they haven't gone and knocked. You see, because part of faith is going to knock on the door. Mm, 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 mm. Let that hit your spirit. Have you been knocking on any doors? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Uh, the Lord says for you to knock, you see, and, and, and what he also said is for you to not get not get discouraged by the doors that by the doors that don't open because the doors that don't open are not for you. Amen. But he said in this season, what happens is, is that we find ourselves in, in routines. And so we'll stay. We'll we'll, we'll um, we'll be asking the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Somebody just try to call me. No, I'm not receiving calls right now in the name of Jesus. I don't care who you are. <laughs> right? You know, this word. <laughs> call back. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, uh, mm, glory to God. But anyway, the most important thing what he was showing me was is that we, it, it, during our time frame when it wasn't our season, we've developed routines. And so many people have been asking and they've been asking the Lord, Lord, Lord. And they've been asking. That's why. And, but he said, you, you, you've done the asking. He said, but now you have to engage your faith you got to go knock on some doors you got to go seek some things you got to seek and and for many of you you have to get out of your comfort zone 
you, you have to get out of your comfort zone. You've been sitting there and see what will happen is the enemy wants to, to, to bring you into a malaise, right? By, by your routine. Your routine is betraying you. Your routine is betraying you. Since you have, since you, since you haven't been really wanting to do anything new, then, then, then how can you, how can you experience anything new? You got to be willing to get out of the box. You got to be willing to get out of the box and go to those places. Go knock on some doors expecting me because the Lord says this. Mm, 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 mm. Your, wow. The Lord says your door will open. And so when you go knock on the door, for those of you who've knocked on doors and they weren't your doors, the Lord says, why would you be discouraged? They weren't your doors. He said, but your door will open, but you got to go knock on some doors. You got to go seek and you got to go knock because you've already done the asking, <laughs> but you've done the asking and sitting. The asking and not knocking. The asking and not seek. But you got to ask. You got to knock and you got to seek. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you today, wow, the Lord is saying that your door will open. Your door will open. But you got to go and you got to seek. And see, you, you don't and you, and, and you don't go seeking with, mm, 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 with, with, you don't go seeking from the place of where you've been. Wow. Why? Thank you, Holy Spirit. How do I help me explain this? Because where you've been, it wasn't your season. So, so like my wife and I, we went and we was, listen, we went and we knocked, we, we sought out of season. And so no doors open. And so, but you know, and, 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 and it was funny how we had to get to a place of absolute, like not desperation, but like, like, okay, you know what? We ain't got nothing to lose. And it was at, at that point that we were able to go and knock and find the door open and so and so mm, and so our experience allows you to go in mm, uh, will allow you to go in a way that will that will keep you from the disappointment that will keep you from the from from the confusion that will see mm, uh, the heartache you know sometimes and, and, and when God is, is appointing people for those of you who are ministers and leaders and and, and, and prophets and preachers and pastors and evangelists sometimes your hardship your hardship is to make the way easier for the people mm, who God brings into your contact, who God brings. See, mm, uh, 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 the, 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 Paul said this, that he said, I've, the things that I've suffered is for your benefit. And so even the suffering that we had to go through, right, discovering the path is so that we can convey it to you so that your past could be easier. Amen. So so that your past, your, your past through could be easier as you receive understanding, because what happens is, is people have gone They've knocked on the door that they've wanted. They've knocked on the door. The door didn't open and they, they stop knocking and they get discouraged and they like, you know, but, but, but what you need to do is you need to get excited. Say knock on that door. Oh, that. Wow. Glory to God. Let me tell you something. The Lord is saying to you this morning, your door will open. Listen, and, and whatever door don't open, you got to rejoice because let me tell you something. You don't want no door to open. That ain't God. <laughs> So if the door don't open, then you got to be like, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that that door didn't open because that was not my door. But I'm going to continue to seek and I'm going to continue to knock. The Lord is telling you your door, your door will open. He said, you've been asking. Now it's time for you to seek. And now it's time for you to knock. Amen. And your door will open. Faith, faith, faith. <laughs> You've been asking and you've been believing, but what is going to engage your faith? Look at this. And this is the perfect example that he gave me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing it as I was meditating on the Lord and I was spending time with him through my, you know, by my, my 40, 50 minute drive. You know, he was showing me that the, the, the past season is what caused Sarah to say, shall I have the pleasure? Because during that time, they were believing God for what God had promised. Amen. They had been believing God for what for what God had promised to the point to where they she stopped knocking. She stopped seeking. So what happened is, is she told Abraham, go into my maid service, go and become intimate, go and become one, uh, go and have relations with my maid servants, not me no more. Let the blessing come from there because she got discouraged in the season she was in. But when the time came, uh oh, that's why I said, how many of you know it's your season? Because the Lord will show up when it seems like you are good and exhausted, when you are good and tired, when you are good and done. But see, guess what she had to do? 
Her and Abraham still had to seek. Her and Abraham still had to knock, still had to be an act of faith for them to do what? They still had to come together. Because if she said, you know what, it ain't gonna happen, so what's the use of us coming together? She still, mm, 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 mm. Who, who understand what I'm saying? I'm trying not to be, to, when God said it's your time by this time next, by this time next, uh, uh, during the time of, of a span of life that you, you will have your son, think about it. They still had to do what? come together they still had to merge they still had to they still had to have relationship amen which means they still had to knock on that door one more time you see it didn't open before when it wasn't their time but when god shows up and tells you it is your time you i don't care how many times you knocked on that door before and it didn't open the lord is telling you this morning that your door will open <laughs> Imagine it took faith for them to come back together again because it's like, I'm old, man. It's too late. You know, she had probably been telling Abraham, leave me alone, man. Stop it. You know, not tonight. I got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> but if she would have had a headache one more time, then guess what? Then then <laughs> they would have hindered the manifestation. It took faith for her to it took faith for her to get in position, her and her husband to get in position and come together. It took faith for it. Think about it. I'm telling you, that, it, it took faith. And what happened? They not what I'm saying is they knocked on the door again. Amen. They knocked on the door again. You see, because it does not matter what you knocked on when it wasn't your season. The door wasn't going to open. You could have been knocking on the right door. You could have been knocking on the right door, but it don't matter if it ain't your season. <laughs> <laughs> right it could have been you it, it don't matter if it ain't your season but god will show up and see this becomes our test of faith this becomes our this becomes our faith okay lord you said this is he shows up out of nowhere and says okay it's time and you like all right but you still doing the same routine you still going through the same routine you got to switch up your routine you got to say okay it's my season well let me go knock on some doors you see <clears throat> me and my wife have been knocking on this one particular door and it wasn't a door so instead of, so what we try to do is we start, instead of knocking, we start kicking it. And after we start kicking it, we start trying to beat it down. <laughs> and then it, then it finally dawned on us that, you know what, uh, this door is being held together by a supernatural force. Because we were looking around and said, man, look how many other people are walking through the door that we are trying to beat down. And so we so we had to be available to try something new. And that's a word for somebody. You got to be you got to be a re willing to try something new. You don't have nothing to lose. If this is your season, see, I can't tell you this is your season. You got to know it's your season from your intimacy, your 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 spending time with the Lord, amen. Your 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 fellowship with him. You got to know what the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, amen. You got to know, amen. And, and yeah, and right that's why that's why and what I love about the Lord is what I love about the Lord is we was trying to beat down a door that wasn't us. Look at the divine love and protection. Look at the divine love, and that's what I'm going to pray for you. That's what I'm going to pray over you guys right now. Look at the divine love and protection. Had we, had, had we, he, he wouldn't even let, see, the enemy would have loved for that door to open for us. Why? Because we would have been in a place that God had not ordained for us. But look at the love and kindness of God to hold that door shut that we were trying to, good morning, sis. Good morning, sister Jen. Blessings, sister Jen and brother Matt. Uh, look at the, look at the kindness of God. Have we opened up that door? And see, sometimes, see, we sometimes we we're going through life. We don't uh, we we are so unaware of just how protective God is over you. Blessing, sis. And sometimes we fear, you know, so much. But look at how protective God was. Amen. You, look at how protective He was over us. The enemy. I'm sure the enemy would have loved to ha open up that door and brought us into all kind of misery. But the Lord has said, No, 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 no. I'm not gonna let it in until you realize that it was me who's holding that door. And then it came to us like, Wow, wait a second. Listen, this is this is some kind of, you know. <laughs> first we thought it was the devil. <laughs> We out here rebuking Jesus. <laughs> oh man, we thought it was a, it, like, hold on, man. We, why? Because we knew it was our time, right? But see, we weren't fluid. 
we weren't fluid with God. We weren't just moving, amen? And so this is what this word is coming to help you be to be fluid. You go knock on the door. If that door don't open, you pray and you, you, go, you go knock on the door. If that door ain't your door, then you just move to the next one. Why? Because your door is going to open. But what the enemy wants you to do is be knocking on the wrong door. Now beat it down. Yeah, now beat that door down, you know? Now beat that door down, you know? And then have you focus on something that, that that's not your door, right? And then, and then what? Then he's going to disheart you and say what oh god is not coming through then he gonna come back and and then try to you know talk you out of and try to talk you down amen you know so what i'm saying to you is what i'm saying to you is is when it the the, the main thing the main thing blessings blessings the main thing is knowing it's your season you see my wife and i we knew it was our season but we had to go through the process we had to go through the process of discovering amen we had asked we had fast we had prayed we did all that stuff the Lord spoke and said, it's your time. Uh, you know, it's your time. And so, all right. So we, go, we went, we went through the first thing that we saw logically. Well, this makes sense. The problem is the Lord had a door for us that didn't make no sense. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, uh, you understand what I'm saying? He had a, he had a, 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 he had a door for us that didn't make no sense at all. But we went and we knocked on it. We went and we knocked on it, right? We, 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 we looked at the situation and said, man, could God be this good? Well, we ain't got nothing to lose. Let's go knock on it. Let's go knock on that thing. And sure enough, not only did that door swing open, oh, it swung wide open. Let me tell you something. For those of you who find your door, it's not only going to swing open, but it's going to swing wide open. And that door is not only, it's, and thank you, Holy Spirit, and that door is not only going to swing open for you there, but it's going to open up, it's going to open. Finding your right door will find, will, will swing wide open many other doors that you're going to find uh, 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 swing, swinging wide open for you. Amen. Swinging, it's, it didn't just swing open, it swung wide open. Amen. And so it's very important for you to discover your door to know what door you gotta seek, amen? And you gotta knock, that becomes a part of exercising your own faith, amen? Knock on some doors, amen? Get out of the routine that you've been in, right? For those of you who know, that, for no, for those of you who know it's your season, amen? Obviously this, uh, 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 if God has you still, then that's that's where you are. If God has you still, this is still a good word for you because the mo the fact that God has you still means that the time is coming where God's going to have you to move. So this is a still a good word for you to know. So when you do go out, amen, so when you do go out, when it is your time, when, it, when, when the Lord speaks to you and say, okay, it's your time, right? You're going to still have to go knock, amen? You're going to still have to go knock. You're going to still have to go seek, amen? And what the Lord is telling you today is, is that even in that going, your door is going to swing wide open but for those of you uh, uh 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 it's for those of you who've been discouraged by the uh by the knocking on the wrong doors and all those things and you knocked on maybe one door and then you got discouraged and then move again rejoice if the door don't open for you then it ain't your door amen whatever door don't open for you you rejoice lord i thank you lord that that door didn't open because that ain't for me right you know and some of you and it's gonna be different because because when the lord has given you the land you're still gonna have to seek you still gonna have to knock. That's that's just period. You're gonna have to seek and you're gonna have to knock. Why? Because this is a matter of faith. Amen. This is still a matter of faith. And you going out saying, okay, Lord, I trust you. I trust you. And to be able to celebrate at a time when the enemy wants you to be disappointed, amen. The, the enemy wants you to be uh, 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 disappointed. You go, you gonna rejoice. It's gonna confuse the heck out of the enemy. You know, knock. Oh, that ain't it. Okay. You need to go and rejoice it. You go to rejoicing, right? <laughs> you know, right? Knowing that your door will open. Amen. You know, and that's my word for you guys today. You know, that is my word for you guys today. Oh, we are in such an amazing time. You know, we are really in such an amazing time, you know, uh, where God is doing so much for his people, you know, and what do you think engages faith? You knock him. You seek him. Get out of your normal routine, right? You know, 
they, they, amen, since they still had to conquer Canaan, right? You know, we come out of the wilderness and we thinking like it's, you know, we thinking like, okay, we out of the wilderness now. Like, oh, la di da, you know, whoop dee dee doo. Hey, we're out of the wilderness, you know, and it's like, uh, you know, right? And we think it's all time for roses and what's the name? But we still got to move. You know, we still got to move because the process from here to there is a is a process of faith even up to going in even up to walking around jericho quietly and on the seventh day praising and rejoicing and then going in to take your land and 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 but and and, and it's different for us we ain't got to pick up no swords no swords of, of of metal but we got to do pick up we got to pick up the uh, the sword of the spirit which is the word of god amen you know uh, our declarations and all that stuff but you still got to go out you still got to go to the place that God has assigned to you and you still got to find it. You got to find your Jericho. Glory to God. <laughs> You got to find your Jericho, amen. You got to find it, amen. You got to discover, you got to seek it. They, they they didn't just come out of the wilderness and, and was like, okay, teleport me there, Lord. They had to go somewhere. And my question to you is, where are you going? Where have you gone? What have you knocked? What doors have you knocked on? What have you sought from God? Because you, 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 you sat there asking. That's why it's not in the title. Because the Lord is saying to you, I know you've asked. You've been asking. But when are you going to go knock? When are you going to go seek? Amen. Right? You know? And so that's my word for you guys today, man. You know, man. And, and, and let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the people that you have gathered here. Father, I thank you, Father, for your heart and your intention and your desire for the people, Father, who you, who have, who you have led through the wilderness, Lord, and, 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 and put them in a the place, Lord, to take possession of the things that you have purposed for their life, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. I ask, Father, that you shut every door that you don't want to be open, Father, and that you open every door that belongs to them, Father. Let only the door that belongs to them swing wide open father we ask father that yes lord that you confuse the enemy in the name of jesus father mm, 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 mm. that you confuse the enemy father let their praise confuse the enemy so that the enemy can't even see them coming mm -hmm. let him hear the sound of a of a rushing mighty wind father and be confused and flee from them father and let every door that you do not want open be shut and let only the doors that you purpose for their lives be open father speak to them lord for those who you will speak audibly to father they will know where to go and for those who you are leading by your peace, Father, give them the confidence, Lord, to go and seek. Yes, Lord, to go and seek and knock on some, some doors, Father. Yes, Lord. Mm, 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 mm. And the Lord is saying, go beyond your means for some of you. Go beyond what seems, <laughs> what seems, un mm, 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 mm. it's the unlikely. It was an unlikely source <laughs> that came and mm, it was an unlikely door that I was like, there's no way God can open this one. And for some of you, that's going to be the right one. Mm, when you, mm, some of you you got to get out of your comfort zone and get out of that space of logic and flow with the Holy Spirit. Wow. And there's going to be some of you who the Lord has got to teach some things. He's got to teach you structure. He's got to teach you structure. He's got to teach you good stewardship. And so the thing, the places that he's leading you to will require, mm, 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 mm. there's some of you who know that. There's some of you who know that. So God is going to take you into a place of beyond. And there's some of you where God is going to take you into a good space, but he's still got to teach you structure. He's still got to teach you faithfulness. He's still got to teach you to, to be a good steward which means he's going to teach you, open a door for you that, that, that I help build you, that I help build your, uh, um, your, your ability to steward, you know, repairing your credit, doing all those things, but you're going to still go into a good place, but see, mm, but, uh, but you haven't learned faithfulness. You you haven't learned what it is to be a good a good story. You are a believer, but you, but you don't, you don't necessarily handle all of your responsibilities. You see, we, we are to owe no man but to love them. And so what so what God is gonna do, he's gonna do some emergency, he's gonna help clean help some people clean some areas up, amen. Because he's working on character and integrity, amen. So he's gonna lead you into a good space, but there's gonna be a there's a, a there's a division between a, 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 a couple of class, a couple of a, a, a groups of people. One is you are a good steward. You are a good steward. You are a good steward. And, and mm, it's in your heart and in your mind to be a good steward. Amen. But you haven't had the resources necessarily. God is going to take you to a place that's beyond. And there are some people, there are some people who's like, well, you know what? I don't care. 
Well, I don't pay them. They can't force me to have it. They can't force me to pay them, you know, who have this kind of mindset and they don't, but God is not like that. But the, that's not the Lord's heart. So he's going to take you to a place where it's going to be a good land, but he still has to teach you structure. He's going to bring people in. You have to know that that's important to God. Amen. That, that for you, for you, for, for your stewardship, you got to, you got to be a, a trustworthy. You got to have character. Amen. You, those things are got to, the things that are important to God have got to be important to you. God is not here to defraud no man. Man. God want, God doesn't want you defrauding anybody. He doesn't he doesn't mm, he doesn't want you saying, "Oh well, oh well, you know, it's got to be important." So even if God supernaturally removes debt out of your life, even if you see, it's one thing to have debt and like, "Lord, I would love to pay it, but I can't." But there's a couple of people who like, "Oh well, you know, God will take care of it." And God is saying, "That's not my heart." Amen. God is going to clean up some debt for some of you. He's going to work some things out for some of you. But you got to know that it is God's heart for you for 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 uh, for uh, for you not to be in debt. Even as the Lord, when it was time to pay taxes, what did He say? He said, "Hey, Peter, you know uh, who's who's responsible for paying taxes?" And this is a, another word that I was going to share for somebody, but it's coming up in this context. But it, it is an amazing word. You know, when people talk, there was some there was a a, a subject matter um, that I was talking to the Lord about. You know, uh, uh, when somebody was talking about, you know, uh, uh, something, I don't want to get too far into it, but what the Lord was showing me was, he was like, you know, uh, so, uh, who did, who did the King seek taxes from, you know, from his princes, from his children or from people outside of the family. And he said, from people outside of the family, he said, so then the children are free and see, this is, this is, mm, mm, that's a word right there. He said, but, but the children are free. <laughs> God. He said, but nevertheless, so that so we don't offend anybody, go and get that money and pay those taxes. <laughs> oh, hey man, go and get that money and pay those taxes for both of us. And so what I'm saying is, is you may not have the resources. It's one thing for you not to have the resources, but you got to know about being responsible. Amen. You got to know about having good character. That is important to God, right? <laughs> pay your taxes, but you know, <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, there, there, there's, um, when you know, you know, for me too, you know, for all of us, you know, when we know that, okay, look, you know what, um, to defraud anybody, it's never good. Amen. Right. You know, uh, if we owe some things, you know, we got to pay it. Amen. That's just the reality. And so, 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 you know, you pay it off. And if you can't, Hey, you know, if you were not now, cause God's going to bless you, but I'm saying at that time, if you couldn't, then that's, that's totally fine. But for those of you who have the heart, I'm just talking about for those who have said, I'm not going to do it. Right. I don't want to do it. Let me just tell you something, amen. God's going to lead you into a different door, right? Not that he's not going to bless you. Not that he's not going to bless you, but he's got to teach you about being a good steward, amen? Right? Integrity, you know, and, and righteousness and, and, and good character, amen? It's, it's, it's just, it's, 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 it's a kingdom, it's a kingdom disposition. How else are you going to teach the, uh, uh, how else are you going to influence the, the wicked world around us, amen? Look, think about it. God just blessing you and giving you a bunch of stuff ain't going to necessarily, uh, it'll, 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 it'll show them like, wow, look at God. It'll, 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 it will expose them to the power of God, but your heart, right? It will expose them to it will expose them to the to the ways of God. That's gonna be different, right? To be blessed, to have integrity, to say you know to have integrity, to say no, I don't gotta defraud nobody, I ain't gotta cheat nobody, I ain't gotta do none of that stuff. Amen. You know, you know. So that, that's just what I wanted to say. You know, that's just what I wanted to say. Amen. You know. So um, it's important for stewardship. So there's gonna be a couple of different people, couple of people. The Lord is saying for some of you, you gotta seek beyond. Amen. You know, for some of you, you really have to look beyond your, your situations. You got to get, you got to get out of your, uh, you got to get out of your routine. Amen. You got to get out of your routine and go knock on some doors. And it's time for, to go seek and to go knock on some doors because the Lord says you've been asking and the Lord says your door will swing wide open. Whatever door that does not open for you is not your door. You rejoice and say, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for not opening that door for me because <laughs> I only want what's mine because <laughs> I only want what's mine. But you got to get out and knock because it's your season and your God has appointed a door for you to walk into, but you got to knock on it. You got to seek it and you got to knock on it. Amen. Go get out of your comfort zone. Go just knock. Listen to the place that me and my wife went to and knocked on. That was just like, you know what? Let's just go check it out. Let's just go knock. It was completely different than what we had in mind, completely different, but it was greater than we could even expect. And all we did was go and 
you know, and you know how you go with this kind of, you know, I, I can't even, you know, I, I'm not going to even lie to you and say like, we went just like, hey, you know, this is good, you know, no declaration. We went, we even knocked like, listen, we even had a soft tap like, is that it? <laughs> It wasn't even like we knocked so hard, man. We just went and tapped on it. Anybody in there? I think it's a boom. And we like, whoa, wait a second. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just telling you the truth, man. When it's your door, the fact that you there, all you got to do is stretch forth your hand and that thing's going to swing wide open. <laughs> Oh, oh man, that thing's gonna swing wide open. Why? Because it's your door, and your door is waiting for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Father. Give you praise, glory, and honor this morning, Father. I thank you in the name of Jesus, Father. I thank you for the many people that will be blessed, Lord, for the countless people that will be blessed, Father, as they discover their door, as they move in faith, Father. Because you cannot have a complete, you cannot complete the transition without faith. Faith will always be required when going from one end to another. This is when you know it is God because it will require faith. They had enough faith to ask. They had enough faith to believe. Now do they have enough faith to seek and to knock and to find? Because here's the word, the final word, and I'm done. Because the Lord says to you today, you will find it. God is going to lead you there. Amen. God is... God is going to lead you there. When you find yourself willing to go, God is going to lead you there. Because more than you want to discover your, your door, let me tell you something. God wants you to, discover, to, to discover your door. He has purpose in his heart for you to, to discover your door. So going out. He's going to lead you to the right place. And I pray that the Lord will cut, will close every door he don't want open so that there will be no space for the enemy to deceive you. That the Lord, that you, that, that there will be no room for the enemy to come in and, 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 and trick, try to trick you up and make you and, and, and discourage you or dishearten you or any of those things. You just got to be willing and, 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 and be, and, and, and be, and be free in it. Amen. You know, be free in it. Go. You want the Lord to lead you? Get out and go. You know, people were healed as they went. This is the methodology of God, amen? This is the methodology of God when people were going from sickness to wholeness. Go, show yourself. Show myself, right? And present the offering, right, that Moses commanded. But I'm full of leprosy. But it was when they started to go. <laughs> oh, amen. So that's my word for you guys today. God bless you all. I love you all. Talk to you soon.